Hi, my name is uh, Issy Wadi, and I am 42 years old, and I am a stage four colon cancer patient. I have a seven-year-old, a nine-year-old, and an 11-year-old, and they are my life. And my amazing husband is Alex Wadi. They just mean everything to me, and as you can imagine, they keep me extremely busy. Um, I am a healthcare professional. I have worked my way up in the healthcare field and uh, my last role I held was at LifePoint Health as a senior executive over um, their ambulatory and operations. We were a six and a half billion dollar company and I was leading a, a significant part of that organization. I was healthy, I love to work out. It was one of our favorite things to do and I say ours because that's something my husband and I really built our relationship on was uh, being outdoors, working out a lot, and being very, very active. And we love doing that. We ate healthy, cooked meals a lot. Uh, we're really into teaching the kids how to eat healthy as well. I would venture to say I was diagnosed in 40, when I was 42 years old, and my symptoms probably started when I was 32 years old, if I'm being honest with myself. And I believe I had something, but I never knew what it was. And so there would be certain foods I would start to eat and I would feel that burning in my stomach and assume that maybe it was an ulcer, right? I'm stressed, I'm working a job, I've got kids, I've got a lot going on. Um, and then I wouldn't feel it for a while. And then a couple years would go on and I'd see a little bit of blood in my stool and not a lot, just a little bit, and it was bright red, and when you talk to the doctors, they say internal hemorrhoids because you've had children. Um, okay, that sounds great, uh, and this is me talking with my OBGYN and my primary care. So I'm talking to two physicians, they're both telling me the same thing, and so why wouldn't, and I did have kids, and again, leaving the, living this busy lifestyle, well, 2017 came around and I started to lose a tremendous amount of weight. And I started to lose a lot of hair. And um, the burning in my stomach became more and more intense. Um, the bowel movements were out of control. The blood in the stool, although still bright red, was very frequent. Um, and as I talked again to the doctors about it, it was, you have internal hemorrhoids. And so the doctors are um, saying that I can go if I want to, but not necessarily saying I have to go. And again, as a busy mom working, doing all these things, living a healthy lifestyle, I'm invincible. I mean, I'm at the top of my career. Uh, kids are doing great, I feel great, I'm working out a lot, eating well, you know, happy marriage, you know, everything's great. Um, but like I said, when September came around, it got pretty severe to, to the point where I would miss days of work because I was having up to 20 bowel movements a day, uncontrollable. And so I went and scheduled a colonoscopy, uh, and that was on November 13th, 2000. Um, 17 and that was the day that they told me I had colon cancer but it was colon cancer and like who knows really about colon cancer I didn't I mean I've heard of it but I've heard a lot of different cancers but I knew nothing about it and I what I did know is I thought it was just an old man's disease that people got when they were older I mean I'm a 42 year old healthy woman otherwise healthy woman who's diagnosed with colon cancer this and, and then it's stage four like where the heck did this come from so we were shocked by that and so i've made it my mission probably about a week after i was diagnosed one of the things i committed to was saying i'm going to create awareness i work in healthcare. i'm very familiar with processes symptoms um, diagnoses cancers and i had no idea none and I said, this is, this is a shame and we need to make sure we educate more because what is happening to me is something I want to happen to absolutely nobody on the face of this earth. As I started my journey, um, I started to meet a lot of people that had colon cancer and a lot of them, actually all of them I had met were under the age of 50, every single one of them. And 50 is our screening age but I met every single one of them was under 50 when I first started talking to people. 
and I'm talking at least 20 to 25 people right here in my circle of friends, peripheral, that I didn't even really know about. Well, why aren't you all talking about this? Like, we need to be talking about this. On September 12th of 2018, they did a liver biopsy. And um, that was the day that truly changed my life. The day I found out I had cancer was obviously a life-changing day. Uh, but on September 12th, when they told me I had miliary cancer, which is cancer that spreads thinly throughout the liver that you can't see. But that day on September 12th, they told me I had six months to live. And that was the day that changed our entire lives and my perspective on the world and life, as you can imagine. The greatest joy I've gotten out of this process, and there actually has been so much joy that I've gotten. I've learned so much about myself as a person. Um, and I do feel like God has given me a second chance to live the life that I wanna live. And I have a Facebook page, Wadi's Warriors, where we give updates, but we also talk about the race and we create awareness. And some of the stories I hear is what brings me joy. Uh, one of our best friends, um, he's a gentleman, and he learned about my story and uh, he went ahead and got a colonoscopy. He's 37 years old. He was not having any signs or symptoms, but he did go and they found a huge polyp and they said if he would have waited till he was 50, he would have had full-blown colon cancer. I've also had another individual and she lives in Chicago and she was reading my Facebook page. Uh, again, not feeling good, maybe some stomach issues, but she went ahead because of my story. She was 41 years old, went ahead and got a colonoscopy. Again, they found a polyp and they said if she would have waited till she was 50, she very well could have had colon cancer. These are two individuals that are healthy and young and living the dream of their life. Under the age of 50, colon cancer isn't even on their mind. And they went ahead and got colonoscopies for one reason or another. And they were candidates or on their way to having colon cancer. So again, I say it is one of the most preventable cancers out there, but one of the deadliest. And so I encourage anybody and everybody, I don't care if you are 25 years old, you are a candidate for colon cancer. So please go get screened, go get checked out and talk to your doctors about it. And to the doctors and to the providers, the one thing I really ask you is be aware of those signs and symptoms. Don't discount somebody because they're younger or because they don't meet the criteria. And I beg and I ask you to be very strong in your recommendations about getting a colonoscopy. For me, it worked out where the physicians recommended it, but it was if you want. And again, I don't blame them, I blame me, but I felt like if there was a little bit more of you have to go right now, this is very serious, there's no doubt in my mind I would have gone. So I encourage you as you're talking with your patients, don't discriminate because they don't meet your typical profile. And let's start talking about it. Let's start talking about colon cancer. I mean, we had to start somewhere with breast cancer, right? We talk about breasts all the time now, nobody thinks anything about it. Let's start talking about polyps and bowel movements and stomach issues and colonoscopies. That's what we need to start doing. Thank you.